Welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discuss a significant development in Philippine maritime defense, the possible adoption of Danish modular technology on the Philippines' newest OPV, the Raja Suleiman class. Behind the diplomatic visit lies the potential for a major transformation in the Philippine Navy's strength. Let's explore this together. The Philippine Navy recently received a courtesy call from His Excellency Michael Skjold Malbin, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Denmark to the Republic of the Philippines. During the meeting, Ambassador Melbin was received by Vice Admiral Jose Ma. Ambrosio Q. Espala, the Chief of Staff of the Philippine Navy. While seemingly a routine diplomatic interaction, this visit carried deeper strategic significance, particularly in the context of defense partnerships and maritime modernization. The meeting between the two leaders reflected a spirit of mutual trust and commitment to deepening maritime cooperation amidst the dynamic security landscape of the Indo-Pacific region. Regional Issues and Shared Commitments During the discussions between the two sides, several important issues were discussed, including maritime security challenges in the West Philippine Sea, a frequent focus of geopolitical tensions in Southeast Asia. Admiral Espala and Ambassador Melbin underscored the importance of maintaining a rules-based order in regional waters and supporting the principle of freedom of navigation. This type of defense diplomacy serves as an important channel for the Philippine Navy to explore potential technological cooperation and sustainable combat capability development with global partners like Denmark. Danish Maritime Technology – More Than Just An Industrial Offering Denmark, as a global leader in maritime technology and the maritime defense industry, has much to offer the Philippines. This Nordic country has a long tradition of advanced warship design, green technology, and modular systems that can accelerate the naval modernization cycle. The potential for technology transfer from Denmark to the Philippines extends beyond mere sales and purchase but also into long-term collaboration in building a maritime defense capability that is adaptive, efficient, and relevant to the challenges of the 21st century. SH Defense and the Cube Modular System One Danish company currently actively exploring cooperation with the Philippines is SH Defense. The company is known for its innovative modular system called the Cube, a container-based mission concept that can be integrated onto various ship platforms. This system allows warships to quickly change their functions by simply replacing the appropriate modules. These modules cover functions such as anti-submarine warfare ASW, mine deployment, underwater vehicle recovery, and humanitarian assistance operations. Modular Principles – Efficiency, Adaptability, and Responsiveness the primary advantage of the cube system lies in its flexibility. In traditional systems, each ship is designed for a specific mission. An ASW ship is different from a mine layer, which is different from a logistics support ship. With modularity, a single ship can perform multiple missions by simply replacing module units as operational needs dictate. This translates into cost efficiency, increased tactical response times, and a reduced need for multiple ship platforms for each function. For a country like the Philippines with a limited defense budget, this approach is highly strategic. Raja Suleiman Class OPV, an ideal platform for modularity. The Raja Suleiman Class Offshore Patrol Vessel OPV, part of the Philippine Naval Modernization Program, is an ideal candidate for adopting the CUBE system. With its open architecture-based design, this OPV has the structural flexibility to accept upgrades to its electronic systems, weapons, and mission modules without the need for major modifications. Its larger size than previous generations of OPVs also supports the integration of modular containers on the deck or inside the hull. Raja Suleiman Class Specifications and Operational Potential Designed to guard and monitor vast maritime areas, the Raja Suleiman class OPV is projected to feature advanced navigation systems, modern maritime surveillance radars, 
in helicopter and UAV platforms. However, its competitiveness will increase exponentially if enhanced with SH Defense's modular system. With the CUBE system, this vessel can perform missions previously impossible for conventional OPVs, such as countering small submarines, underwater salvage operations, and deploying sea mines for passive defense. OPV Modular Configuration Simulation in a Modular System Deployment Scenario The Philippine Navy could configure six Raja Suleiman-class OPVs as follows. Two vessels are equipped with torpedo modules and sonar sensors, making them lightweight ASW platforms. Two vessels are equipped with mine-laying modules, creating underwater defense zones at vulnerable points. The other two vessels carry unmanned underwater vehicle, UUV, modules, and a towed recovery system, enabling underwater search and rescue operations or submarine cable repair. All of these configurations can be swapped based on threat dynamics or mission requirements. Integration with frigate and corvette fleets In a modern fleet structure, OPVs are not the backbone of offensive firepower. However, OPVs with cube modules can serve as dynamic support for capital ships such as corvettes and frigates. While frigates exert sea dominance with anti-ship missiles or air defense systems, modular OPVs can provide a layer of support in the form of underwater detection, mine laying, logistics, and even tactical communications in the theater of operations. The way forward, transformation through modularization. By adopting a modular approach to fleet development, the Philippines is not only building ships, but also developing a much smarter operating system and philosophy. This represents a paradigm shift from purchasing platforms to building flexible capabilities. The decision to partner with Denmark and integrate the CUBE system on its Raja Suleiman class OPVs could be the first step towards a major shift in the Philippines' maritime defense strategy. Conclusion and Strategic Reflection Philippine-Denmark cooperation in the maritime defense sector, particularly through the potential adoption of SH Defense's CUBE modular system, is not only tactical but also strategic. With platforms like the Raja Suleiman class OPV as its basis, this system could symbolize a new era of Philippine naval power, more efficient, agile, and ready to face any challenge in regional waters. If utilized wisely, this modular system could be a game-changer in defending maritime sovereignty and strengthening the Philippines' position within the Indo-Pacific security architecture. Thank you for watching today's discussion. If you're interested in defense developments and military modernization in the Indo-Pacific region, don't forget to like, subscribe, and activate notifications. See you in the next video.